Welcome back, everyone. Today we're talking about saving money on your wedding gown. Now, Larissa from Deal of the Day really practices what she preaches, and she saved $525 on her dress. That's right. She found her dream gown for $800, but thought, eh, I think I can do better. Frugalicious words to live by. And she did. She did indeed. She called around and found a salon that was willing to sell it to her for $575. Then, after her wedding day, she sold it to another lucky bride for $300, making her total net cost for her wedding gown $275. Do that math, Mommy. That is 66% Mommy's off from the original price she found it for. That's right. You go, girl. <laughs> so now let's talk about accessories. Many stores will try and give you the hard sell on the veil. Yes, the average bride spends about $300 on a veil, but you can easily spend really over two thousand dollars you've been watching too much say yes to the dress i confess <laughs> luckily we've got some great ways to save here too well don't tell me we're doing used veils too because that could be weird with no hair. but i'm sure you could if you wanted to but what about making your own veil or checking them out on etsy.com you know i do love that site and it probably is an easy thing to do yeah etsy.com is a place for everything handmade including lots of wedding items like veils at a fraction of the price that you find them in stores i saw a simple veil on there the other day for just ten dollars i mean that's practically nothing. It is absolutely nothing for a veil. And they've got other bridal accessories like flowers, headbands, jewelry, mm -hmm. at a fraction of the price. So go check it out. Now, what if we want to take this a step further? Say I wanted to rent my dress. Whoa. Hold on a second. You're talking about renting a dress like renting a car? No, like renting a tux. I mean, think about it. The guys get to do it. They rent their tuxes for the special day. Why can't we brides? Yeah, actually, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, everybody's going to see you in it. Mm -hmm. It's not very practical, so it's not like you're going to wear it again. No, you're not going to wear it again. So renting your wedding gown has actually become a much popular option for frugalicious brides. Plus, you could probably get like a couture gown that you'd never be able to afford otherwise. Mm -hmm. I really love that idea, but where do you rent gowns? Well, there isn't a one-stop shop online yet, but many local stores are offering this as an option. So call the local bridal boutiques in your area to see if this might be available for you. You know, that is frugalicious, but let's just say I want to go the traditional route, and I want to spend a lot of money at a traditional <laughs> salon. Well, there are still ways you can save. Let's recap. Comparison shop. The number one frugalicious rule, ladies, shop around. Yes, shop early, mm -hmm. look around, try and save on shipping and on tax when you can, and if you're shopping early enough, you might be able to take advantage of a trunk show, mm. where salons highlight a specific designer, which can save you an additional 15 to 20% on all gowns by that designer. And don't forget about selling your dress once you're done with it. So there you have it, ladies, a frugalicious ending to your dress shopping dilemma. We hope we were able to give you some tips to help you save on your wedding gown. Mm -hmm. And if you missed anything we talked about today, don't forget to check out our site, thefrugaliciousshow.com. We've got a lot of great information there on how to save big on your wedding day. Absolutely. Well, bye for now, our frugalicious brides. We'll see you next time. Bye.